Okay, this is the obscenity and pornography module. Um, first thing to know about obscenity and pornography is that they are not synonyms. Uh, a lot of people use those terms interchangeably, but one of the things you will learn uh, in this module is that they do not mean the same thing. And we also throw two other terms in there, indecency and erotica. Um, that once again are the kinds of things that people often use interchangeably, but you will find out um, that they are not interchangeable. Um, and one of the uh, things to mention, uh, too, to think about as you um, sort of uh, watch the presentation and stuff is that you'll see that the um, definition of obscenity and, for example, like what kinds of things we prosecute is open to interpretation. And one of the things that happens is Republicans, generally speaking, are more adamant about going after pornography um, and obscenity, and Democrats, generally speaking, less so. Now, I say generally speaking because there are exceptions. And so what we've seen, for example, with the Obama administration is there have actually been fewer places where the federal government has gone after people for pornography and for obscenity than under the Bush administration. Um, and again, that is because there are laws, there are rules that we're supposed to follow about whether something is illegal or not, as you'll see in the presentation, but those laws are open to interpretation. And depending on how you interpret them, um, you might decide to go after somebody who's doing pornography or not. And so, again, generally speaking, um, uh, you know, as I, I said, um, the Obama administration has tended to go after obscenity and pornography less so than the Bush administration did.